The brake fluid level sensor is a relatively simple sensor that does exactly what its name is. It monitors the level of the brake fluid on your car. Now this is really, really important to the safety of your vehicle. Should you have a low fluid condition in the brake system, it means one of two things. Either you have a leak in the system, which means your brake pedal is not going to be firm like it's supposed to and it could lead to a safety problem or you have a worn out brake system. Your brake pads may be worn down, your brake shoes may be worn down. Something has made the calipers come out further. There is no reason that your brake fluid level should go low under normal operating conditions. So we put this sensor into the brake fluid reservoir, either like this one, a cap design with a float, or this one that goes right into the side of the reservoir. We put these in there to monitor that fluid level because again, it should not change under normal operating conditions. So if you end up with a low fluid condition, the sensor will send that information off to either the ABS computer or it'll send it off to your instrument cluster, off to your dash, and it'll illuminate that red brake light on there indicating that your brake fluid is low. But should the sensor have a failure, should it be on its way out, it's possible that you may not have a different indicator. Your dash might light up with that same red brake light. Now this can be a problem because as your sensor is failing, it'll light up that same light. Now you have no different indicator to let you know that your brake fluid level is low. So you're going to want to change the sensor out right away if it's deemed the problem because you need to have that indicator as a safety indicator for your vehicle. Now, it's possible on newer vehicles that you'll actually find a trouble code stored in the ABS control module when you have a sensor issue, but not every vehicle will do that. Some will just illuminate that red brake light. So there's no differentiation on your dash between low fluid and a failing sensor. So you always, always, always want to go out, pop the hood, and double check that your brake fluid is between that min and max line on there. Changing these things out, generally not that difficult. This one's real simple, it's just part of the cap. You unplug these two connectors and you thread the new cap in, plug it back in and you're good to go. But some of these sensors, like this one, have an O-ring on them. So when you remove the old one, you're going to leak brake fluid out. So you want to be able to swap these out very quickly. Have your new one handy right next to you so you pull the old one out, you unplug it, pull it out, put the new one in right away so you don't lose all of your brake fluid. When you install your new one, as with any sensor with an O-ring, just a real thin light coating of uh, some clean oil on this O-ring to help the installation process. And then again, change it out very quickly. Should you lose all of the brake fluid, should it all leak out, you will have to add more brake fluid and then possibly even bleed air from the braking system. You don't want air in your brakes, you may have to bleed it out. So why should you choose an NTK brake fluid level sensor? Well, as with every sensor from the NTK brand, you'll get yourself a premium quality product with outstanding support and industry leading innovation that's been bred directly from our company's OE heritage. These attributes and more truly make NTK the sensor specialist.